nice. You should open your heart. That wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So today, when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma, we have a brand new update. And if I head over right here onto my device and go into system settings and go to where it says general and go to software update. It's just checking for an update right now. You can see the one has already popped up here and this is Mac OS 14 Sonoma beta five. So this is the fifth beta and here you can see the update size. It comes in at exactly 1.99 gigs. Well, this is downloading and before we find the download file size, I would like to show you some other updates that Apple released today. So if we go into the Apple system here on the beta page, iOS 17 beta five alongside the iPad OS version, Mac OS 14 beta five, as well as watch os 10 beta 5 and tv os 17 beta 5 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if you want to keep up to date and get to know what's going on with these devices and what's changing then definitely do subscribe but here you can see the actual update size that comes in when it comes to mac os 14 beta 5 exactly 3.8 two three gigs and i'm updating on my 14 inch m1 pro macbook pro so i've just updated my device right now and if we go into our system settings and go to general and go to software update right here you can see the new build number that we have with mac os 14 beta 5 is 23 a 5312 d it ends with the delta and coming from mac os 14 beta 4 re-released that update had an h so in a sense this one is taking us four steps in the positive which is a good thing but it's not yet stable enough for me to be able to recommend whether you should be updating your main device to it there's still a lot of bugs that apple mentions and if we look at mac os storage the space that's being taken up by the os you can see it jumped slightly up it's taken up 20.22 gigs and this is the software changes now let's look at some of the new features and changes that are here with this update so you can probably see when i click on my desktop everything disappears and there's a new splash screen that shows up but i unfortunately didn't take a picture of it but if you go to this section that says desktop and dock right here you can see here where it says you can automatically hide your widgets by clicking on the desktop and this one is where is a new feature that's here and with mac os 14 beta 5 this plus screen about it will come up and after you click on the desktop again for the second time it will disappear unfortunately i didn't get the chance to take a picture of that and also another good thing with this update is that there is no psa warning or psa announcement like the previous mac os 14 beta 4 where i had to make an announcement to beware because mac os 14 beta 4 was breaking some devices you would be greeted by a black screen or a white screen with just the cursor showing so this update as far as i know and have researched there is no update issue with it and all those that have updated are doing so over the air and in a safe and seamless way which is a plus next let's go into our settings right here if we go to where it says privacy and security right here and we go all the way down so this we want to go to the section that says location services and go all the way here it says system services if you click there you'll notice some new toggles and this one last with the last update it defaulted to on but here you can see this is now off where show location in control center system request by location it's now off by default and then they've added some extra toggles like alerts and shortcuts automations and some of these items have also been reordered now that's about it when we go into safari now we want to look at the safari build number if we go to about safari right here you can see the build number that we have it's version 17 of course and the build number is 19616.1.26.11.3 
three and when it comes to safari if you go into here where it says safari and try to create a new private browsing session so you go to file and then new private window you can see this new pop-up screen is showing up again and it will basically tell you what private browsing is. Safari is dis designed with privacy in mind by preventing tracking by default. Private browsing adds additional privacy protections for all tabs in window. After you close this window, Safari won't remember pages you visited and your search history or your autofill information. So this is now showing up for it's almost as if Mac OS 14 beta 5 is refreshing some of the minor new features and changes for users to let them know, hey, by the way, this is new in Safari. By the way, this is new on the desktop. So pretty cool. And then also when it comes to this update, if we go into our system settings right here, we'll close this. And if you go to where it says wallet and Apple pay, I won't go there because it will show a bunch of information. But if you go there, I'll be happy to let you know that you can now set up Apple pay in Chile and Vietnam that is supported in those regions. Now, if we go to where it says music right here, you'll be able to see that there's a new pop-up screen for Apple Music. And also with this update, they've actually integrated AI to try and make it better recommend music and playlists that you are more likely to listen to something like what spotify has been doing for a while i don't use apple music i use spotify but in case you want to know that is now here in apple music and it's only going to get better going forward now if we minimize this and open up our app store right here there's a change here you can see these are the updates that i have and before all these used to be in capital letters, but now you can see just the first symbol unit is in capital letter and then the rest is all small letters. And you can see here that it now looks normal and it's not just capital and bold like what was there before. If you have AirPods, this update, well, alongside this, Apple did um, introduce some AirPods update and it's beta for now, but the new build number for the AirPods is 6A5289C so you can check it out if you want to get your airpods on the beta as well so for me I haven't updated but there might be some issues and bugs that this fixes for your airpods and then Apple has added a Bitcoin SF symbol alongside other currencies within SF symbols for this update as well as on iOS 17 the latest beta 5 so that is a good thing and it shows that they are keeping up to code and up to the latest symbols that different currencies might need to be updated to and bitcoin is one of those can you believe that there's a user on x.com that's uh, my sk he mentions that it no longer removes um, browsing or information prompt from twitter links and x.com so that is location links if you share a link that is from twitter.com or x.com apparently some of the tracking information is not being removed like that what was there before so maybe that is a security loophole and if you are to report this in the feedback assistant app apple will be able to sort this out pretty soon now also when it comes to the battery widget i'm sure you can see that right here so this has been updated you can see if I click on my desktop, you know, it becomes green, but you can see now instead of showing this is my Mac, it's always, it, all, it has always been a Mac, but the keyboard that I have here, the Apple Magic keyboard, you can see it's now showing as a keyboard and not just as a Bluetooth symbol. And also my MX Master mouse, you can see here it's showing as a mice and not as a Bluetooth icon like what was there before. So it's a good thing. And Apple is adding more symbols to this, like the currencies and now like peripheral devices are now showing up properly. Now, other than that, this is how this update has been for me on my 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro, Mac OS 14 beta 5 let me know what you think about this video i don't want to make it too long so if you are curious about performance or battery life let me know maybe i'll do a follow-up video after a number of days once i use it fully and uh yeah stay safe and i'll see you in the next video
Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say. Regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some killage vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the kids. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitaire, they sick and tired of waving, sitting like the Navy. We don't like to try to split conversations, flipping on the Bible page.